Alvin Valley. 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 I love that name. I designed since I was a little kid. I've known how to sew since I was six years old, and I had a seamstress that I used to do like the more complicated things. I also had a younger sister, and I did a lot of tryouts with her, and I used to get in tr into trouble because I would, my parents would say I was dressing her like a tramp. Now, how long have you been designing? I've been designing for about seven years, started in 95, and uh, at 21, uh, in Miami, I opened a store and uh, just took off from there. One day, it just hit me that I wanted, I had known enough people that liked me enough to do my own thing and to sell to them directly. It wasn't about a show or taking a bow at the end of the show or anything like that. It was really about making clothes, clothes that people could wear year after year and yet one more. Let's talk about your clientele. Cameron, Cher, Celine, Gwyneth and Jennifer. Madonna and Cameron Diaz. Kate Winslet, Paris Hilton. You've got socialites from Samantha Boardman to celebrities like Sarah Michelle Gellar. How did you meet these women? Just by coming to the store and ex you know exposing themselves to me and, and trusting me and uh, by being charismatic with them. Why did you decide to leave Miami and come to New York? If I was going to be in any kind of big part of the business, I needed to be here in the center of it all. Preparation for today starts like many months before from the inspiration. Inspired directly from customers of mine who were suddenly telling me that they were shooting and hunting and at their country homes and or in Europe and you know one in particular that goes hunting every year with the Queen of Spain and she's like I need suits to go to do that. To the fabric to developing the, the shapes. It's a process that I enjoy and I, and I love and here we are. It's a stressful moment. The business is hanging on for by this moment. Doing interviews and having to do press and doing media, it's part of the business. It's a, a lot of things that we have to do in, in order to, to get there. It's not just taking the clothes and, and putting them there. Also, we have to do the final alterations on all the clothes, and sometimes we have to do shortening lengths on the pants, putting moving buttons, putting them, you know, doing them differently. Maybe they're not, they weren't right the first time, or and every model gets fitted, so everything has to be done at their specifications. But now, uh, now the other part comes in and let's see how stores receive it and how they buy it. Alvin Valley, he is a more upscale designer. He sells at Saks, Bendel's, Kerner's the Bet. Alvin dedicated a year to creating the most flattering pants on the market. No buts about it. His tapered pants are now making A-list celebrities beautiful. We have to talk about these pants. Alvin's pants, again, like he said, the pants. Pants. The pants. Pants. He has, um single-handedly inspired me to wear pants and suits again. Hot pants. Pants with butt in the pants. Then these pants. Alvin Valley, Lord of the Pants. <laughs> Actress Kate Winslet had to have a pair immediately, so she rang up the designer, Alvin Valley. Wonder Butt is being trademarked by the designer some yeah. call the Lord of the Pants, well, Alvin they, Valley. Uh, they were actually christened uh, the Wonder Butt by Kate Winslet. The actress was trying on the pants when she came up with the name. He cut an amazing, amazing pair of pants, and they've been very successful, uh, widely popular with us. Women can thank designer Alvin Valley for making their backside look so good. To run into Julianna Moore and say, hi, Miss, Miss Moore, I'm Alvin Valley, and for her to go, oh my God, your pants. Before he was designing sportswear, Alvin was known as a designer to the socialites. Paris Hilton is one of his best customers and a huge fan. To see her really understand my clothes and to really express herself with it, I think is a, is a major compliment because then I see how I can like go from one spectrum to the next. The next is a jean collection. There are going to be 12 jeans named after the Zodiac. Jeans are, you're seeing them everywhere. So, you know, Nowadays, you, them yes, on, yeah. become much you more can wear them out to dinner, mm -hmm. to great restaurants. And um, I notice they're a little darker, I guess that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, those are indigo wash, and yeah, they have a more classic, um, dressier feel to them. What is it that you hope to accomplish this season and uh, in the future? Well, uh, I think basically is to get a wider distribution, creating more licensing for product with, under my name, and to really, uh, really create and build a brand such as that as Ralph Lauren or Calvin Klein. 
Uh, and uh, I think that that's, you do it season after season after season and really, really is to create um, worldwide distribution, which is not an easy task. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of colitas rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. There she stood in the doorway. I heard the mission bell. And I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven and this could be hell. Then she lit up a candle and she showed. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. 